Hello everybody, my name is Jeff and welcome to Space Course. Today we're going to be taking a look at the end of Expedition 55 and the beginning of Expedition 56. This being my first uh, episode about expeditions on the International Space Station. So if you don't know, uh, the International Space Station rotates the crew members about once every six months. The expeditions actually transfer over uh, between them. So there's about six people on board, but three and three transfer between the expeditions, if that makes sense. So the first half of Expedition 56 is already on board the space station. That's Andrew Fustel, Ricky Arnold, and Oleg Artemia. So they've already been there for about three months, and they're going to continue and stay there for the next three months. And actually today is launching the next half of Expedition 56. So this crew is kind of special because, uh, well, they're launching out of Baikonur Cosmodrome in uh, Kazakhstan. But the cool thing is that two of them are actually rookies. They've never flown in space before. So cosmonaut Sergei Prokopiev will be making his rookie flight. And he'll be the, the Soyuz commander for this expedition. So after retiring from the Russian Air Force as a pilot, Sergei was uh, selected as a test cosmonaut in 2010. So our second astronaut is another rookie coming out of America. Her name is Serena Anya Chancellor. So Serena comes fully equipped and ready to go for the space station with experience as a physician and as an engineer. She was originally hired by NASA as a flight surgeon and spent nine months in Russia supporting space station activities. Serena was selected by NASA in 2009 and qualified in 2012. After completing her training, she went on to serve as an aquanaut underwater in uh, Nemo 20. So our Expedition 56 uh, veteran is coming out of Germany in the European Space Agency, Alexander Gerst. Not only is Alexander the most experienced one of the crew, having spent 165 days in space already, he's also the youngest of the crew by about 24 days. So on top of uh, Gerst's multiple degrees in geophysics and natural science, he also has a doctorate in natural sciences as well. One of the coolest things about Gerst is if you've seen the movie The Martian and you compare the two European Space Agency uh, astronauts, it seems like the movie The Martian characterized the that character after Gerst himself. Not only is he bald, he's got a beard, he's German, he's got the same degrees and experience, and even on top of that, the character and Gerst were born in the same town. So this expedition is going to continue on for another three months or so, and then 56 will end, 57 will start, and the three astronauts on board right now will stay there while the other three come back home. And that's basically how the expeditions work. It's pretty cool. In uh, the not-so-distant future, we have a couple Canadian astronauts ready to go. Uh, one Canadian astronaut is actually the backup of this crew, so that's kind of cool. Uh, he's getting ready to fly soon. And guys, if you enjoy this, if you enjoy the... The details on the, the, the next expedition and who is in space, check out whoisinspace.com or the Twitter account who is in space retweets from uh, the astronauts actually in space right now, which is really cool. Uh, so guys, if you like this, let me know down below, leave some feedback, comments, all that good stuff. Uh, click subscribe if you think this video earned it. If you didn't, let me know why. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much to our patrons for the support, and we'll see you next time on Space Course.